The internet has a wealth of pre-made components for various frameworks like Bootstrap, but also plain HTML. These different components and blocks can make putting together web pages quicker, and depending on the blocks, they can also give your web page a very unified look. And today, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the tools that PineGrove provides to allow us to utilize these various block libraries. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using a particular set of blocks from Fruala. These Fruala design blocks uh, come in 10 different categories, uh, and there are over 170 blocks to choose from. And as we can see here on the page um, that uh, there's a whole variety of different ones, all with a nice clean look using minimalistic uh, material type styling. Okay, so how can we use these in Pine Grow? So to first start off, we need to navigate, navigate to the download page, and that URL is given in the tutorial. Uh, and I'm just going to navigate here to it. And we can choose, once we get here, to either clone just individual pieces from the GitHub repo, um, or we can bring the whole project down. And, and for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to bring the whole project down because that makes it much easier to work with in Pine Grow. So normally I would click this download file and a uh, modal would pop up asking where I want it saved. I've already downloaded that to save time and I put it into my development folder. You're going to want to uh, remember where you put the zip file um, because we're going to have to reference back to that from within our Pine Grow project uh, to get the blocks in. Go ahead and unarchive that zip file depending on what type of OS you're running uh, you can uh, do that um, how your system needs that done for a Mac I just have to double click it and we get this folder within that folder we get a whole variety of different files so each of these HTML files are those categories of blocks that we saw on the uh, last page and in addition there's two other files, or excuse me, two other folders here uh, that are important for this tutorial. The CSS folder, which of course contains the style sheets that give all the styling for all of these different blocks of content, and the images folder. That images uh, folder contains all the images for these same blocks, and um, we'll need to copy those over to our project once we create it. So now let's open up PineGrow and start a new project by clicking on the new page or project button here. All of the Ferala blocks are made in Bootstrap 4, so you're going to want to choose Bootstrap 4 as the type of project or page. And then you can choose any of the templates, but I'm just going to choose the minimalistic index.html uh, as a base for this tutorial. Once that gets opened up, you're going to want to navigate uh, to uh, your files tab and then go ahead and uh, save that page and in my case I'm gonna save it in the same folder where I have my Ferala design blocks uh, files uh, and I'm just gonna name this in a new I'm gonna put this into a new folder called Ferala project and save that now, depending on settings, you might get this mobile modal that asks if you want to reopen the folder as a project. If this doesn't come up, then you're going to have to navigate over here and click on open index.html as project. I'm just going to hit yes, and now we're opened up. Now that we have our project folder created, we now have to go back to where we have our for all the design blocks folder and copy some stuff over. So we're going to want to copy over that CSS folder and we're going to want to copy over the images folder. Now I'm recommending that you copy them over because if you directly drag and drop them then in the next steps you'll have broken links uh, when you bring them into PineGrow from this main for all the design blocks uh, folder. The other thing that I want to point out here is I'm putting these directly at the base of the project folder rather than in another folder like assets. 
And that's because Fruala expects uh, through hard links for these images to be at the same level uh, in the folder structure as this index.html file. If you do choose to put them into a subfolder, uh, then when you go to save this index.html file, you're going to have to click on the fix broken links uh, uh, menu option uh, for that file in order to correctly import these images. Okay, now that we've got these copied over, let's go back into PineGrow. Uh, you see they're not here. We're going to have to refresh that project. Just right click on your project title, hit reload project, and you can see that we now have the CSS and images file. Okay, now let's get our page ready to be used with uh, the Furala blocks first. Uh, we're going to ha go ahead and drag this style sheet over to our page to attach it. I chose the minified CSS style sheet because we're going to put all our changes into our own style sheet, uh, not into this one, so there's no sense in taking the uh, large uh, unminified style sheet over. Second, we're going to navigate from our file menu to manage libraries and plugins. And what we have to do here is we have to activate, whoop, we have to activate Font Awesome 5. So the Fruala blocks use Font Awesome 5 for their uh, social icons. So navigate to here, click on activate. We'll get a couple modals. Go ahead and add that. And then we can either add with JavaScript or CSS. I went ahead and added with CSS. Close and close. Okay. So now our page is ready for usage. I'm just going to give it a save. And now the Pine Grow Magic. Navigate to your Libraries tab. Open up that panel. And at the very top, you'll see there's a plus. If we click on that, we'll get a drop-down menu that allows us to open either files or URLs as custom libraries. So we're going to click on Open File and then navigate to where that unzipped file folder is, the Ferala Design Blocks folder. And then we're just going to go ahead and choose one of these from the list. So just for the heck of it, I'm going to choose Contents. Open that. And what you can see is that these design blocks now have been uh, brought into our library and are available for us to select, and we could drag them to our page. I'm going to resize my page a little bit here, um, and I'll show you why. So right now we have a hamburger navigation uh, symbol up here. If we make this wider, however, what we can see is that when we hit the right breakpoint, our menu of all of the different categories of blocks pops in here. So we can easily uh, shift between which blocks we want. And you can see how you want your screen set up to best show this. Uh, and say your page or just your tree, um, collapse this down, anything that you need to do for your workspace. I have quite a bit of workspace here. You can choose a different layout. Um, I have a large screen so I can keep quite a bit open on the screen at once. Okay, so now going back to bringing these blocks into our page. So uh, if we say instead wanted to bring a contact in, we can go up to this navigation and then either option or control click. Um, and then this is the same as what we would normally do on a page view in order to do a test click. And that'll bring us to a new page worth of blocks. We can now select one of these different blocks to bring on to our page. So for example, if we want to bring this very first one in, you can now click anywhere in this block and this normally would select this for pulling into the page, but we want to bring the whole thing in. And the way these blocks are set up is most of them are set up with a uh, as sections, um, except for the headers. They're set up as, as headers. Um, but what we can do is we can select one piece on the page and then come down here to the bottom. And what you can see is that there's a whole set of breadcrumbs. And if we select the base breadcrumb here, the block, or the, excuse me, the section, you can see that now the whole thing is selected and we can just drag that over to the page. I'm going to turn off the grid and columns. Okay, so this now is available to us to do any kind of uh, 
uh, styling that we want. So say we don't want this as heading two, we want this as uh, heading three, and we want to uh, edit the text. We can do anything we want that we would normally do in, in Pine Grove. And then when we want to put another one in, say a footer, we just go back over here. We can, uh, once again, Alt-click. That'll bring that new page in. And then we can do things like select a footer, make sure that we're down here with the breadcrumbs that we're at the base. And then instead of bringing it to the page for more precision, we could uh, make sure that we bring it precisely into our page after our first section. Just drag it over to the tree here and bring it in. And so you can see we can very quickly put a page together um, uh, that has a very unified look to it. Um, makes prototyping or putting final pages together very quickly and exposes all of this um, for uh, use in our standard Pine Grow tools. As I said, if you put those images uh, at, the, um, uh, at a different point than uh, at the same base as your page, when you go to save this, if you right click, you can go down to fix links and it will search, find the right place where those links are and modify them, uh, modify them in your, in your page. And that's it. We put together a small page here. Um, and you can see how easy it is to uh, access other blocks of content out on uh, the web uh, to bring into your library to easily drag and drop uh, into a Pine Grove project. Um, so happy designing. And if there are any um, uh, libraries of blocks or any other themes that uh, you would like to have featured in our next tutorial, please either uh, let us know in the forum or uh, contact us by email. Happy designing.